this video is a pretty serious one um and i just want to put a disclaimer out there i'm not asking for pity and for sympathy and seeking attention i literally just want to kind of express myself and also ask for wisdom from you guys um maybe analyze what's going on through my head analyze why i am in the situation i feel i'm in okay i'll start off with explaining why i'm making this video now is i was talking to my dad just earlier and i realized that my parents have a very like high perception of me like they think i'm a lot more functional than i am and my dad real you, you basically said you look quite tired then like, why is that and i was like well i've been messed up my sleeping schedule a bit um because of work um because i work at a bar i work quite late nights and they were like yeah um my dad said yeah you look quite tired and that's how i explained it and which is which is kind of true but it's almost like half truth i i also haven't been the most consistent with my sleep schedule i haven't been most consistent with good nighttime hab habits like turning off screens and you know doing better habits before bed like reading or journaling that kind of thing instead i've just been like on my phone so that that's one thing yeah but as i was saying they have a quite high perception of me they think i'm this highly functional person who's you know studying for eight hours a day and uh, which is just entirely not true and they also have this perception that i'm extremely consistent which is just not true whatsoever really like the the reason i'm making this video is because i feel like since i first you know discovered self-improvement or whatever that means since then i've always had this terrible self-doubt inside of me like this awful self-doubt that i know is holding me back and i don't fully understand why or why it's still there i don't fully understand the concept of self-belief i understand why it's important but i don't understand if it's something you just have to dive into like you have to take a leap of faith or if it's something that you develop over time like i don't understand that and I don't understand how to go from this position of, okay, I get the ball rolling for like three days and I'm doing really well for myself. And then it takes a week for me. And then I do something stupid. Say, for example, I relapse on NoFap. And then I'm down bad for a week. And then I get back up the ball rolling for a few more days again. And then it's just repeat, repeat, repeat. And it's almost like this cycle of this, the fact that this cycle is like, reinforced this lack of self-belief the, the idea that i can never be consistent if you understand what i mean so that's the main problem i recently i've been having these low days of me just walking and just this isn't every day but it's some days and today's kind of one of them days where i just don't feel good I don't know if that's direct influence, directly influenced by the habits, like the poor habits, or if it's psychological. Because obviously psychological and like what I mean by poor habits, poor habits is more like neurological and like to do with the chemicals in your brain. Psychological is like kind of the way you're thinking and how that affects the chemicals in your brain, if you know what I mean. That's my understanding of it. So I don't know why exactly it is but i would like for example i'd like walk into a room maybe it's like a class or a lecture or something and like when i'm sat down and i like as you do just when you're in public you like accidentally make eye contact with people you know not not people you know just with people you don't know and what i find myself doing is like dying my eyes really quickly like a fidgety like i don't know addict almost like my eyes will dart really quickly. Like I'm super unconfident and super freaked out. But the thing is, when I'm actually in conversation with people, I'm not. I'm actually pretty good at keeping eye contact. But it's like when when it's just like I make eye contact with people there, I'm just like, I've got this fear inside me for some reason. So that's one thing, and it's also a matter of just always wanting to 
But I, I have a, a destructive... I just have destructive patterns. Like I was saying earlier, I would, you know, get the ball rolling and something would go wrong. And I would fall into a bad habit. And then after that, everything else in my life is negatively impacted, which doesn't make sense. And don't get me wrong, there's a lot of things that have posit positively happened to me in my life since starting this self-improvement thing. Like, I started lifting weights. I got a bit of a physique going for me now. And, like, that's kind of helped. But a lot of things just haven't really made much progress like i don't feel myself i don't think as myself as a lot more socially adept just because i've always been scared of rejection and i've always felt like i am never going to overcome it it's like the self-doubt i was talking about um and then there's that also ties into like you know, talking to girls and improving a dating life. I've got this part of me thinking that it doesn't really matter, but I've got also got this part of me saying, Dan, it does. You need to develop these skills while you're young. You've still got so much to experience at this age, at this time in your life, at university. And then it makes me feel like I'm missing out and et cetera, et cetera. And then I rationalise it and say, well, I know that this leads to this, that, you know, going on dates and stuff and like meeting girls leads to... I don't know, starting another degenerate cycle of me drinking too much like I did last year. Like I've got these justifications for things like that, which don't always make sense. But you don't have to be that guy. I'm just going to get this out of my head, but you, I think you get the idea. Is that a lot, there's a few things that have really improved, and that's physique, and also I've start I like martial arts and stuff. That's what I've got going for me right now, and what feels good, and what I'm always motivated to do. Like no matter what, I'm always motivated to go to train. I'm always motivated to go to the gym if it's in my current program. Like, I've never had an issue with that. But I don't know if that's because I've always been a physically active kid. You know? And that's just so ingrained in me now that it's like completely, I don't know, it's always going to stick there. So, how do I develop this self-belief in the other parts of my life like i've had success on this youtube channel like i've had i've had a few videos go really well and i've had you know gain a lot of subscribers and i'm really grateful for that but there's now there's this part of me that doesn't want to upload videos because i'm scared that i won't practice what i preach and i think that's important as a man you need to hold to your word if you say that you're going to practice something and this is why it's a hard video for me to make because i don't feel i've held myself to the same perception you guys might have of me you know so that's why it's hard for me to make videos right now is because to be perfectly honest i don't think i'm in the right position to and i don't think it's fair to try and give a lesson about something that i'm not 100 percent sure about maybe i'm being too harsh on myself there but i think it's important to acknowledge you know Let's finish my water and we'll carry on. Eight minutes, fucking hell. This is like my first heart to heart video. And I really hope you guys have something to tell me in the comments. As I said, I don't want pity. I don't want sympathy. I just want wisdom. I want someone to tell me how it is. What the hell is going on in my head if they can figure it out because I've just never been able to stay on top. Like there's been periods where I've felt amazing, I've done well, and maybe for a few weeks at a time on occasion. Like I remember in the summer of 2022, summer last year, I was in a, such a good routine. I was just getting into the gym and I had this part-time job, which I was working the same shift as for like every single, um, like five times a week. I was just in this pattern and then I'd go hit the gym and eat and I'd just focus on doing that and I felt emotionally good because I was, like, I was making progress in some aspect of my life and it just felt good and I had I had things to look forward to like right now I just don't really have things to look forward to I don't know what to be excited about because I don't really it's another thing I just don't have a good social circle like I have friends I don't have a circle though. Like a circle implies that it's all connected. I don't have a circle. I have a friend here, a friend there, 
a friend there, but like that means that you don't go to social gatherings anymore. Like it means that I talk to my housemates in the kitchen, but I don't want to go out with them because it just involves alcohol and I don't want to do that. And I go to Taekwondo and then we don't really do much socials there, it's just training. And it's like, well, I'm I'm not really tight with all those guys. Like they're all cool, they're all really good people. I'm just not tight with them, you know? So I don't have a circle around me. I don't have like, okay, me and the boys are meeting up this weekend and we're all going to hit the gym and do this and do that. Like, I just don't have that. Maybe some go maybe there's other people in this situation where they don't have that, but I feel like it's affecting me. So I have to kind of, you know, acknowledge that. I don't have this tiny circle. Like everyone talks about the importance of having a tribe. I don't have that. And I don't have any fucking clue how to get it because I've got to overcome this social anxiety bullshit and I'm not secure, fully secure in who I am. Therefore, I'm scared to put myself out there, you know? Like there, there are times I have been gradually getting better at talking to people, but it's not something I constantly push myself towards. Like when I'm in this situation with that opportunity, I think I've said this before. I've been at the gym before and I've been getting eyed up by an attractive girl and I just haven't had the balls to just say something just because I always have this self-doubt inside of me. I don't know what it is. Is that self-doubt to the extent I'm talking about? Is that normal? And is it something that is easily overcome? Well, not easily overcome, but overcome just in general. To the point of, okay, so I'm in the gym. I have this level of self-doubt. Is it even possible to overcome that? Or is it the, or is my problem the fact that I don't believe it's possible? Twelve minute video. And I think I might be running low on the storage, so I'm gonna finish it up here. But man, someone tell me, tell me straight to my face, like what the fuck is happening in my head? Like I don't, I'm not the kind of guy to be a victim and tell other people about my problems and ask for sympathy. I just want some people to tell me how it is because I'm not really open, this open with anyone in my life. And I don't want to be viewed as the person that's much higher. Like as my, as I said earlier, my, I think my parents have a very high perception of me. I don't want to be viewed like that when it's not actually the true, it's not my true self. You know? Another thing is like, I've been like trying to quit porn for like three, f over three and a half years. And I still haven't been able to keep the habit. Like, is this just another part of the self-doubt cycle? That like, I have a decent streak and then I relapse and then I just go back into it. Then maybe another decent streak and I relapse and I go back into it. Like, is I'm only just struggling to overcome the self-doubt. Like, what is it? What is it exactly? Because it's a repeated hate behaviour in so many different aspects of my life. I'm talking, as I just said, porn, like doing no fap. And then I've got talking to women and just becoming better socially. And then I've got trying to become more productive. And then I've got uploading to YouTube and uh, trying to find out how to, you know, have an online business and become successful. Um, just simple habits like meditation and journaling and reading. How do I, all, the, all these things that I want to get sorted out, all of these things, they're all coming from the same problem. I have a fucking feeling that they are. So, yeah, 14 minute video. I think this is the longest on the channel, but it's like a heart to heart. And I, I hopefully in the future, when I figure this out, I'm gonna make a long form video about this and I'm gonna help I'm gonna help other people, you know. I, I wanna help other men overcome this kind of shit because like the times that I've actually had successful videos and like on my video that got 4K views and the amount of messages on that video saying I needed to hear this and you know, stuff like that made that touched me like on the inside like, and I felt it because it's relatable to so many people and it's just feels powerful to do that. It feels meaningful. And a lot of the other things in my life don't feel meaningful. Damn, all right, boys. I shall see you in the next one.
Peace out.